What is up everybody, this is Eric coming to you guys again with another recipe video. Um, tonight this is going to be really, really, really simple. Probably one of my most simple recipes I have. Um, and it's pretty much um, just going to be uh, fudge. Uh, I mean, you can make it in the freezer and it's really, really simple to make and it tastes really, really good. Uh, it's pretty good to uh, have whenever you want. You, you can use it on a cutting diet, bulking diet, whatever you want to call it. If you're even on a diet, uh, you just want to make something simple. This is really a uh, pretty cool, quick creation to do every night if you want to do it. So, Guys, so this is the uh, required ingredients that you're going to need. Uh, base is going to be non-fat Greek yogurt. You could use non-fat or 2% it works. Um, and you can omit this, otherwise known as not using it. Uh, but I like the taste. Uh, just throw in about a half cup of pumpkin in, in your recipe as well. So that's your base recipe. Now, um, you can also include protein powder in this. I just don't have any uh, whey. I actually just ordered some new Cellucor uh, cinnamon uh, swirl whey, whey today. So I'll be waiting on that to make some new recipes with. Uh, so I'm just going to use uh, some sugar-free jello tonight. Um, cheesecake flavors. Uh, my up that and pistachio is my favorite flavor. Um, some sweetener, stevia works great for this. You can use Splenda, you can use any sort of sweetener. Uh, and this is what's going to give it the chocolate flavor baking cocoa. Um, and um, I'm going to use white chocolate chips with this tonight. It's going to give it a nice, uh, different flavor with it. So, um, other than that, you're going to need a baking tray to put this on. Uh, it doesn't have to be a cookie sheet, it can be uh, kind of like a, a pan or whatever, just anything you can put in the freezer, so that's where you're going to Alright guys, so here's everything after it's been um, all put in the bowl. Now you just mix it, and I'll see you after I mix it, and it'll come out to Alright guys, so that's what it looks like mixed up, and now you want to transfer it over to your baking tray, your uh, parchment paper, cookie sheet, whatever you... Boom, that's what it's going to look like after you're done. Obviously, you can kind of play with the, um, the base and kind of get... You can add more yogurt, less yogurt, more pumpkin, less pumpkin, throw in some protein powder, but that's what your base is going to look like. Um, I thought I'd throw this together tonight. Um, yeah, it's kind of just a basic recipe. All you're going to do for now is just pop it in the freezer, guys, for about, I want to say about three to four hours. And after that, cut into pieces and enjoy. So I'm going to put mine in the freezer. And there we go. All right, thanks guys for watching. Um, I'm really trying to get stuff started. Um, I mean, I have a lot of recipes that I like to make on a, uh, you know, every now and then. And you know, if you like to, if you like this video, just give it a like or subscribe. Um, tell me what you think. If you try any of these, let me know. I always love feedback. Always love when people try my recipes and let me know how they taste. So, thanks guys. Um, I'll see you next video. Thank you.